Greetings and welcome to Old Drunken Discography, where old friends and fans come together to BS, argue, occasionally agree, and talk about a musical artist. Today we're talking about Hammer Falls, Avenge the Fallen. I'm your host, Jason. Your other host is Tim. That would be me. And Bill. That's me. Tim's got a little bit of a lag, but that's okay. We're all a bunch of old drunk amateurs here anyway, so we don't give a shit. But hopefully you've been enjoying our Aerosmith series. But, you know, we like to touch on these new albums, and Bill brought us Hammerfall's Avenge the Fallen. So, Bill, what did you think of Hammerfall, Avenge the Fallen? Yeah, so Hammerfall was a new band for me. Um, I was just looking ahead like, oh, hey, this band's releasing an album. They've done some stuff before. I went and listened to some of their prior stuff. I'm like, okay, you know, this could be a pretty decent, you know, listen through. Because uh, actually they had already listened to or released their initial single was Hail to the King was their first song released from this album. So I listened to that. I'm like, okay, like I could definitely get behind this. Wasn't that Avenged they... Sevenfold? So... Avenged Sevenfold did a different Hail to the King. It was. Okay. And I like this one better. Um, that being said, what I found interesting, because we were recording Ghost when I initially started to listen out for Hammerfall, and just the common things that I drew between them for words hard. Um, similarities, that's the word I'm looking for between the bands. <laughs> um, but it's they're still completely different though. And just, yeah. Uh, I like this album a lot. Um, yeah, I did not at all. I could not get over the guy's voice. Um. Yeah, you guys are gonna talk about this one. <laughs> I, I've. My mama told me if I can't say anything nice, don't say nothing at all. I do like Swedish snus. <laughs> so there's that. I mean, for me, I'll say this: the album. I mean, Avenge the Fall, the opening track, I thought was really good. But then the second single they released, The End Justifies, I felt... That's a single? That was their second single they released. Oh my god. And I think that might be the worst song on the album. And that's coming from the person who loves singles and is very much attuned to radio rock. Um, They don't play this on the radio though, right? Like a single could be different well, nowadays in 224. Yeah. yeah, a single for this is they put it out on YouTube to advertise it. Yeah. But radio isn't yeah. touching this. No. But That's still, like, it, it was a single that they put out to advertise it that was like, why Why did you pick this one? <laughs> it was so repetitive. The guy's voice, I, just, I can't get over that Coheed and Cambria voice. It's just, it's something that's always bothered me. Same reason why I don't like Rush. I just can't do it. What? Yeah, I'm kind of in that boat too. I'm not a big power metal guy. Is this power metal? Or is it like symphonic metal? I don't know. This isn't symphonic, I don't think. Oh, this is definitely power metal. No, this is definitely power. So what makes something power metal, Tim, for those of us that are Every time I talk, everything just shuts down. Uh... Well, I mean, it's, you know, swords and dragons and kings and castles. And musically, it's very inspired by Iron Maiden. Epic stuff. And there's a lot of stuff on here that could have been Iron Maiden. And there were some musical passages here I thought could have been Ghost. Like, uh, you know, there... They're touching on all kinds of stuff here. But yeah, just big, epic swords, dragons, power metal. Well, is Seven Spires power metal? No, that's symphonic. 
But they're all about like the no. castles and the. Yeah, that's more symphonic black. Okay. I mean, I like Seven Spires. Yeah, but they're. They've got more. I mean, it's nitpicking, right? Like. The way I the way I viewed symphonic, which I'm not saying it's correct necessarily, is like you'd have a symphony almost playing in the background potentially, right? Like Seven Spires is a lot more strings, is a lot more mellow at times. No, there's that. That has nothing to do with it. I'm with you, Bill. That's most what I was thinking too. <laughs> well, you know, symphonic is usually just like keyboard pads. Where, yeah, like, it's fake strings. It's a fake orchestra in the back. It's just keyboards. And then, yeah, it tends to be a little more gothic in nature as opposed to, like, you know, Conan the Barbarian. I see that. All I got is, what in the League of Legends DLC fuck is this album cover? That's a dope ass album cover. That could be a video game cover right there. Yeah, that's what it looks like is a DLC pack for League of Legends or fucking World of Warcraft or some shit. Is there something wrong with that? Yes. I don't want that on my album cover. <laughs> See, I view that it'd be like, oh yeah, this is like a two thousands, you know like Dungeons and Dragons expansion pack is what I actually see when I look at that. I see Fortnite Chapter Five, guy with a hammer. Nah, I'm definitely getting the Dungeons and Dragons vibe from it. Motherfucker looks like, like it's clearly a paladin, right? Like it's yeah, it's which would make it more empire. power metal. Power metal is definitely Dungeons and Dragons. Okay. Well, yeah. Maybe I don't like power metal then. Like it, he's clearly using his warhammer to cast smite on the foe in front of him. Uh, yeah, I get that, but eh. I think it looks really cool for an album cover. <laughs> to each their own. Art is subjective. Is it art? Is it art? We'll get to is it art at the end of the year. I can't wait to revisit this one. I feel like we're all we're gonna differ slightly on this one, Jason. I think so. My eyes. So, anybody, uh, so Tim, what did you actually think of the music? Like, were you did you like this record? Yeah, I mean, I liked parts of it. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of the guy's vocals. That is probably my biggest turnoff as well. But yeah, I thought some parts were uh, pretty awesome musically. There's some cool riffs. There's some cool drums. Um, there's a couple musical left turns that um, worked, and there's a couple that didn't work. But yeah, overall, I thought uh, there was some cool stuff here. I think, uh, oh God, what was my favorite song? Probably Rise of Evil. I thought that one had a really cool chorus, really cool riff. That, that was, uh, and then I think probably the first track, "Avenge the Fallen." "Avenge the Fallen," I think, is probably my uh, low point. Really, like it started off pretty weak, but then I liked the second song, and, uh, <sighs> and I thought it got better from there. See, I really liked the first and last. But yeah, and you then... can hear some old Queen's Rise. You can hear Dream Theater. You can hear. Iron Maiden, and you can hear Ghost. I can hear some Avenged Sevenfold in there. Like, they're just kind of touching on everything. Yeah, I don't know. I'm, you know, Seven Spires. Bill Bill brought us that one. I don't know why he how he finds these fucking weird ass Swedish metal bands. Well, I guess they're from Boston, aren't they? But he finds <laughs> this weird ass metal. Why can't you find like something? I don't know. Well, you, off, well you, you want me to tell when Tay Tay releases an album? We ain't touching Tay Tay. Not here on this show. We ain't doing that. Tell you what, the views would skyrocket, the dislikes would also skyrocket. Yeah, I, I don't know if we can. We'll be Can docs. you handle it? Yeah, I don't think we can handle We ain't messing with no Swifties. We love Swifties. We love Tay Tay here at ODD. <laughs> um, But. Well, it's. I you mean, brought Seven Spires and, like. At first, I was like, eh. But then, like, I was like, man, 
this is actually pretty good. Like I'm, I want to, I want to get into Seven Spires. This one, that dude's voice instantly turned me off. It didn't get any better the more I listened to it, and I just, I can't, I can't do it. So this one is not for me. I'll say that. I mean, honestly, I'm gonna agree with you on that, Jason and Tim. Both of you guys, but I mean, for me. The, his voice is the hardest part of this album um, to listen to. The the instruments and the music, though, are pretty damn good, I thought. Um, well, I mean, I if, if, they were like a, if they were like a Mogwai or like, you know, an instrumental band, okay, sure. But he's there, so he's part he's of it. He's there, exactly. <laughs> I mean, I know for me... Cause I, ow. I really just like how they did the songs because it's, I mean, Hail to the King especially. Hail like, to the King. It's not that one. But anyways, it's like, I want, it's not necessarily a tempo change they do. But like, you've got the prequel to the song going on. They've got the song. It's. Oh, I just. I think it has a very good flow about it. The last song, it's sound got some whimsical type sounds going on with it, and actually, I really the last two actually both of them together, I really liked. I mean, it's. I mean, I alluded to this. It's not my favorite album that's been released this year, but it's definitely not my least favorite either. Um. I mean, just looking. I would agree with that sentiment. I liked High on Fire more than this one. I'll say that. So did I. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, as far as like in this genre of let's just let's just sum up to metal. I'm not getting into the different fucking way. That that shit's more bullshit than punk and pop punk and emo and post hardcore like fuck all that shit in the genre of metal this is probably my least favorite we've heard all year I might concur with okay. that one I mean you got Caval- Cavalera you've got Seven Spires you've got High High on Fire I put all that three Ju- of those the new Judas Priest is better than this I hadn't heard that one but I'd put all those above this one, but that's just me. Yeah, it came out this year, and it's great. And I'm not a metal guy, so don't fucking take my opinion for shit. It'll be interesting, though. End of the year, be interesting to see where everything shakes out. You know, we got another album around the corner that's got some lightning on the cover, too. It's a little supercharged. We'll see. Hashtag biggest disappointment. (laughs) I mean, if you're a fan, you're a fan. If you're not a fan, you're not a fan. You're gonna you get. What, a, but you're it, gonna get what you expect. Like you're a big you, fan. That's how it ends up being a disappointment. I mean, it's it, you get what you get with that band. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know this band's discography, so I don't know where this would fall in it. I don't know, but yeah, not for me. Anybody else got anything to add about Hammer Falls, Avenge the Fallen? Not really, other than, I mean, listen to it. It happened. Tim, you got anything? This is the first one I've listened to since their first album, and uh, it was pretty much what I expected it to be. It's, uh, you know, it's got some good stuff. And I think if you like Hammerfall, you'd probably like this. There you go. Tim Tim knows more than we do. (laughs) Yeah, listen to Tim. Don't listen to us. Um, so yeah, we're in the middle of Aerosmith. Those are fun videos. Go check out our Seven Spires review. Um, let us know down below what you think of Hammerfall. Avenge the Fallen, and let us know if you play World of Warcraft. Hit hit Bill up on World of Warcraft. He plays it. So I'll put his I'll put his name down below. 
Oh lord. <laughs> Don't do that. Please make them at least join our Discord server first. His PlayStation name is No, um so yeah, be safe, make good decisions.